In one of their collisions, when they collided these particles together, they saw things. They were apparitions. They didn't expect to see. It's named after Apollyakon, the gateway to the god Apollo, but what does the book of Revelation say? That an angel comes down with a key to the bottomless pit and opens that gateway, and guess who is the god down in there? The king over the bottomless pit, Apollyon, Abaddon, the king of the bottomless pit, and we're trying right there to open Boy, a gateway. Smart, when we were talking back there, I said, you know, it sounds to me like you're describing they're trying to open the door, to, to the gate to hell. Right. Okay, well, here's, here's the thought. Uh, God literally sealed and locked demons into the earth that would not be released until the last days. Mm -hmm. And now we have evidence that man is the one that's trying to open the door mm -hmm. and release them. Turn from your evil ways, you men of the earth. I am a just God and a forgiving God. Return to me and escape the wrath to come. All those that seek me with a repentant heart will enter in. Come as time moves quickly and the days grow short. There's going to come an Armageddon. There's coming an apocalypse. I hope you're ready. I hope you are. I hope you're ready to meet the Lord. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after him. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. And for the international order that we have worked for generations to build. Ordinary men and women are too small-minded to govern their own affairs. That order and progress can only come when individuals surrender their rights to an all-powerful sovereign. That order and progress can only come when individuals surrender their rights to an all-powerful sovereign. Surrender their rights to an all-powerful sovereign. A new world order for the 21st century. If any man have an ear, let him hear. We are, all of you know it, on the edge of a climatic abyss. In fact, we have 500 days to avoid the climate chaos. September 23rd, 2012, or 923. Madonna performs her MDNA tour in Washington, D.C. as a precursor of what is to come. Remember, the Amtrak train crashed at 923. Madonna opened the concert with a song called Girl Gone Wild, beginning with a Jewish priest singing Psalm 91. 
This was a depiction of the high priest entering the temple behind the veil into the Holy of Holies to make atonement for the people. Madonna's reenactment of this practice on 923, September 23, 2012, was a foreshadowing of what is to occur this year, September 23, 2015, the Day of Atonement or Judgment Day. Look where we are, it's insane! The city is awesome! If you don't believe in God, you came to the home city. Judgment Day. It's not the skies that's opening up tonight. It's the ground. The foreshadowing of what is to occur this year, September 23rd, 2015, the Day of Atonement or Judgment Day. Yom Kippur, Judgment Day. It's not the skies that's opening up tonight. It's the ground. They're closing the gates. They're not letting anybody out of the city. Come on, come on, come on. Any man have an ear, let him hear. We are, all of you know it, on the edge of a climatic abyss. In fact, we have 500 days to avoid the climate change. Falling from the 
stars Drenched in my pain again Becoming who we are As my memory rests But never forgets what I lost Wake me up when September Summer has come and passed The innocent can never